Okay, another unpackaging. So this time, something from Paxan, one of my favorite stores. Rip this open. Um, so, I did a video a little while ago on the different types of shorts that I wear. Um, and this is one of them. Um, so, from Paxan, you'll probably know the, the rough type. So, I talked about the different style of um, swim trunk that they release. Um, and how I just really love the fit and the fabric and the the patterns. It's mainly the patterns. Um, I'm typically a fan of um, like shorts are the only really, really loud item of clothing that I'll ever wear. Um, so when I do, I go in hard. And I, I actually have a few other pairs that I've bought from them in other seasons. Um, so like I tend to buy like one or two of what I think are the best um, 17 inch swim trunk it's called. Um, I tend to buy the best one or two each year. So I'll add one or two each season and I have one, I have my favorite other two that I'll kind of compare these to. One that I bought 20, 2021 summer and then one that I bought in 2020 summer. But all three look very different. Um, but yeah, these, these were, so I don't know at time of shooting what the availability or the price is, but the, this is a $37 pair of shorts that was down to $18.47 on sale. So I tend to pounce. I always go for the 17 inch and I'll tell you why. Um, I'm a kind of a fan of the, of 16 inch. 15.5 is like the, the, the thing that everyone keeps getting hyped about at the moment, but I'm a pretty tall guy. I'm like 6'3", 6'4". So if I buy a 15 inch shorts, they end up looking like underwear. So I buy 17, but essentially what that means is I end up with what is like relative to my body and frame a 16 inch short. So I just kind of like size up on the length because I'm tall. So in terms of like what they look like, that's kind of like roughly, I guess, what to expect from them. And you know, as individuals, you all know how tall you are. So you don't need me to tell you how to how to buy your own clothes. Um, but yeah, so this is, they've, they're just listed on the Paxson website as a fruit, as you can as you can see. Um, so it's called, I'll just bring it up now. Um, and I'll actually, I'll ping up a image in here just to show you the, the listing and the price and just what it looks like on Paxson's website. Um, yeah, they're listed as Paxan Fruit 17 inch swim trunks. So these are, I guess technically, these are meant to be swum in and that's about it. I have never swum in any of the swim trunks that I have from them. I have the three I'm gonna show you now, plus another, I think another two in my collection, but the other two were like much less interesting to look at. So I didn't like think it really worth to, to kind of pull them out for, for a video or anything. Um, and yeah, you get here, so you can see here, I mentioned the price, basically a thirty-seven dollar um, pair of shorts, which I think thirty-seven dollars for a good pair of shorts is actually like not bad at all. But when you drop that down to to eighteen, and I'm I'm all over it. Um, so yeah, as I say, extra large. So in terms of sizing, I go with a large in Fear of God. I go with a large in Mitchell and Ness, the Swingman shorts. I'm usually a large or an extra large. These I go extra large because I find Paxan um, do kind of, you do have to size up. Also, I mean, look at that. There is no give at all. There's no stretch in these. So it, if there's no stretch in, in the material, I will go to an extra large. And if there is, obviously like a, a sweat short, um, you're gonna you're gonna have some stretch there. So just a quick run through. You always have this really, really little uh, discreet piece of branding down the bottom here with these swim short, with these swim, swim trunks, sorry. Um, the material, I'll bring it up close again, see if you can kind of in any way make out what I mean. Uh, to hear the noise that it makes when it rub on it. Um, it's the typical kind of swim short material, um, which also is, it means they are very airy. Um, they're very nice and airy. What I would typically do with this kind of style is I would throw on a pair of runners that complements one of these colors at least with a pair of no-show socks at some point i'll do maybe the next time i re-up my collection or that my 
my no-shows, I will do an unboxing. So I, I shop with um, Uniqlo for my no-shows, the best no-shows in the game. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll do that at some point. So yeah, a pair of runners. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, either, I'll either match one of these colors or do something generically that kind of like complements well. No-show socks. And with this, I would probably go, you're gonna have to go all out with this. So I'll probably go maybe like a black or a white tee. Most likely a white tee. Um, and yeah, just kind of go from there and have it a super, super summery kind of fit. Um, so yeah, the other side, just flip them over. You have your one, one back pocket here, which is a good again for like, even though they're a swim trunk, I think they are kind of meant to be worn um, casually. Um, for me, this it, it's always like the, the kind of thing that I, I would pack something like this if I was going on like a, um, if I was going on a, like a foreign holiday, maybe like a beach holiday or something, and I would wear this for like date night out in the restaurant, one of those nights, you know, with a nice pair of runners, you're gonna, it's just gonna look sick. Um, so yeah, what you have here, just breaking down the pattern. So for me, these kind of really screamed Versace at me, like poor man's Versace. Um, I'm not particularly into high-end um, stuff. It, it, it looks like a kind of pair of shorts that Conor McGregor would wear, if that makes any sense to you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of high-end stuff. I just think the price is just not um, acceptable for what you get. Well, it's not acceptable is the wrong word. I just can't justify it. So they gave me that kind of Versace vibe. Again, you have netted pockets on both sides as well. Just keep running through all the, the, the stuff. Um, yeah, they gave me that kind of vibe. I had them in my um, in my cart for a while, and then I, I got a, I got a text from Paxson saying they were going on sale, so I added them. So yeah, you work through their fruit. It's like a fruit in, in that kind of uh, as I say, almost Versace print. So you have uh, what really drew me in is there's a, so many different ones. So you could match with the purple in these in these grapes, or like a, a yellowy orange, because you have peaches in here. You have there are a few um, uh, pineapples and a few other things. Um, and you have white grapes, strawberries, bananas. So you can go yellow, you can go red, you can go with the purple. You know, I, I've just got my purple tapes, so I might actually see if I can go purple tapes with these. Um, I might do a few minutes later again for the purple tapes. And maybe I'll go and break away and... Um, and actually just bring a few down that look like they could be good combos with these. I didn't actually think of doing that, so I'm not prepared. But yeah, that's a, a quick run through. Um, now for my favorite shorts from from last spring, summer. Um, and obviously living in Texas, living in Dallas means that we get a hundred days-ish of what would be, I don't know, close to, if not over a hundred, which is what, like, near 40 degrees, so you do need to have a super strong shorts game. Um, so yeah, this was the other pair, as you can see, they're both very loud. Um, so I go, I go very like coordinated with the shoes and I go just like white tee, just keep it super, super plain up top. Um, it does start to look a bit like wannabe, wannabe um, Miami wrapper. If you if you have a busy pair, of, like a busy top on, or a super busy pair of shoes as well. So I keep it as the, the one statement piece in the fit. Um, these I tend to wear with um, runners that have a touch of pink in them, because it, it complements really well. Um, but yeah, as you can see, similar kind of thing. They have like the, I say these have the, the one pocket at the back there again as well. But if, I mean, on first inspection, I think Paxson is very, very, they are very consistent when it comes to these, like year after year, the position of the patch is exactly the same, the material is the same, generally the price is, a, is the same each time. So it's why I kind of feel quite comfortable just like pop my favorite one and then I kind of like leave the others because they're like, I could, I could cop 10 a year. Like they, they're that good. They're, they make so many that are really nice and that the color is so varied that it would, you know, I could quite easily do that. Um, and then the spring summer from the year before, again, very loud, um, but these are, I think these were from 2020. Maybe I'm wrong, I can't remember now. I, I, I'm fairly sure these are 2020. Hopefully the kind of light will adjust a little bit here, but these are, yeah, that you're not getting that through at all. These are like, kind of like turbo green colored, 
Um, yeah, I'm really not picking the light up very well. The other two are very like easy to pick up. This obviously has a back black background and this is just a bunch of colors. This looks really washed out on screen here, but in real life, this is, um, this is much more kind of like, it's that kind of turbo, turbo green type color. So I, I generally tend to fit these with my, um, my Deodora Highly Addictive, because they have a piece that has a similar color or kind of anything that, that fits that mold. And you can also pick out something with a piece of orange in here because of that match up there. Um, so yeah, they're, they're the three. Um, time will tell how much um, I love these in comparison to the other two. Um, who knows? Few moments later. Okay, as I said, um, I'm gonna get some pairs down to just do some quick, um, some not comparisons, some like, some quick looks to see what they look like. Um, so yeah, let's work through them. Three amazing pairs here, by the way. Okay, first pair. I mentioned the purple in these um, in these grapes. Um, we're going to go grapes and tapes. I just thought of that. Comedy genius I am. Um, so this is my first seeing of any of this, so can't can't be one hundred percent. It will work. But I also thought these are so loud that actually just kind of pairing them with a sh with a monochrome shoe could really work well. And I think that um, that kind of just goes to prove, yeah, that looks that looks super dope. Again, the lighting's really not perfect, but yeah, a, a very, very loud shoe. A damn near monochrome, sorry, very, very loud pair of shorts, damn near monochrome shoe, and then like a white tee with something, like a tiny little touch of color in it, and that would look really, really good. I feel like, I think there's so many colors. I'm still chasing down the aperitivo the Mitre sneakers Aperitivo N9000. I feel like they will go with these really well as well. Um, but might have to be a next year Grail pop, that one, because they just seem to be impossible to bloody find in my size. So. Okay, the next one. Ronnie, the man. This is one of my favorite combos. I've worn this together nights out a couple of times. Um, and as I said, mainly because of the, the pink, the touch of pink um, and just how that looks against the pink. It's also quite nice because I, I'm not a huge fan of black. Like outside of maybe like a hoodie or something, when it comes to clothes, I'm not a huge fan of black. So for me, I'm almost all white sneaker against the pair of black. It does take away from like that kind of black look. And then again, I would always wear this with a white tee. So the black, the black back here does actually pop and it doesn't start looking like some kind of ninja fit for summer, which would be super weird. But yeah, again, the, the pink is completely different. It just goes to show you don't need to match colors for them to look really dope. Um, top down view against it. You don't get as much of that pink. You're only kind of getting this piece hitting from there, but this has always been like a solid go-to. Um, so spring summer again and then the final one again one of my favorite shoes ever see a little bit of that kind of like minty kind of green on the top um i actually also maybe one time i'll do a video on the H&M shorts, which I've called before. Endearingly, as poor man's fear of God, they're basically just like cotton jogging short, jogger shorts or sweat shorts, whatever you want to call them. Um, I actually have a pair. Um, I, I, have, I have a couple. Okay, I want to say I have two or three. Um, but one of them is exactly in this color and one is exactly in this color. Um, so yeah, again, that the kind of top down, it does clash a little bit against the heel, but actually when you've got so much space between the two, you kind of don't really notice it. Again, like that's the kind of top down view. I to clean that off, I've got a little bit of mark on there somehow. Um, but yeah, when the top down view like that, like all you're really seeing is that, that kind of playing off against each other. Um, so yeah, another really nice um, hair with the, with the color combinations. 
Back to the overview. Um, yeah, nice to be able to share a few, a few um, combinations.